We're going to end this lesson with a look at rearrangement mechanisms. There's some overlap between the mechanisms of rearrangements and the other mechanistic paradigms that we've seen already, but in fact, we've already seen some mechanistic overlap between oxidations and reductions, for example, and additions and eliminations. So this idea that there's some overlap between the classes shouldn't be terribly foreign to you. Rearrangements deserve a class of their own because they don't involve the loss of any atoms from the starting material. The most remarkable re rearrangements, including the pericyclic rearrangements, involve no external reagents whatsoever, and the concerted simultaneous movement of bonds and lone pairs within a single molecule to affect the rearrangement. I wanted to begin by noting that some reactions that look like rearrangements are actually better described as additions. Intramolecular addition reactions, although they look like rearrangements, are often better thought of as additions because the addition moniker, the classification as an addition, tells us more about how the mechanism actually works. So as an example, take a compound like this. Maybe if we treated this compound with a little bit of weak base, what we might find is addition of the nitrogen across the CO double bond. Now this looks like a rearrangement if you consider only the molecular formula of the starting material and the molecular formula of the product. You'll find that they're the same. All of the atoms and elements that are present in the product were originally present in the starting material. But the trick here is to recognize that the H present in the OH group of this compound is not the same hydrogen as the one that was sitting on nitrogen originally. So in that sense, mechanistically, this doesn't really correspond to a rearrangement because the hydrogens of the NH2 group are not the same as the hydrogen that ends up on the OH group in the product there's the intermediacy of another compound here. It's not what we would call a fully intramolecular rearrangement. What's special about the intramolecular rearrangements is that they involve the action of only a single molecule rearranging its skeleton, rearranging its, its arrangement of sigma and pi bonds and lone pairs. And the most notable examples of these are the pericyclic reactions, which we've looked at in detail in a separate lesson, actually. But just to note a couple of examples of these for you to close out this lesson, the electrocyclic ring closing and ring opening reactions are a great example of an intramolecular concerted rearrangement where there are no intermediates, there are no intermediates in this mechanism, and there are no other molecules involved. It's a fully intramolecular process where all of the atoms of the product are the actual atoms found in the starting material. And in fact, we can verify this by doing things like crossover experiments where we use a mixture of hydrogen and deuterium in the starting materials. And what we find is all of the molecules that started out with deuterium, for example, end up with deuterium, and there's no crossover between H and D. Another example of a pericyclic rearrangement that's very common and very important is the 1,5 sigmatropic rearrangement, and more generally, all of the sigmatropic rearrangements, which involve a shift in the position of a sigma bond from one position to another. I'll talk, tack on a methyl group onto this substrate just to show you that the reactants and products are different. From the perspective of classification, this is an interesting transformation because a sigma bond is shifting, but again, the hydrogen atom that ends up here in the product is physically the same hydrogen atom that started out at the one position. And this is less common than a lot of organic chemistry students believe. Intramolecular pericyclic rearrangements are relatively rare. Much more common are the intervention of an acid or base for example, to affect an apparent rearrangement. That's what we're seeing, for instance, in the top case. An added acid and base are helping to mediate this reaction. 